Good morning, everybody. It's really early in the morning. It's about 8 a.m. And we are departing from Argentina to Barcelona. And from there, we will take another flight to uh, the Netherlands. So I have to kill like four hours. My flight departs like 1 p.m. So yeah, it's going to be fun. And I need to get something to eat and drink because it's a low cost and they don't provide any food or drinks. So yeah. And in case you're curious, all the time that I didn't vlog, I was focused on uh, meeting with friends, meeting with family, and just enjoying the summer. So yeah, I didn't have anything interesting to show you. I didn't do any traveling. So yeah, this is the first traveling quite some time. So I'm looking for my breakfast, but prices are ridiculous. That sandwich is $3, $5. An empanada is $1. A salad is $6. And yeah, average four or $5. Okay, I think I saw a McDonald's, so I will try there. I might be able to get some breakfast. Maybe even cheaper. Okay, let's see what we have here. This is the first time that I see McDonald's offering a cereal bar. Really healthy. So yeah, I got a table with the view. All this was uh, about $3, maybe a bit less. And I also got a coffee, not just the meal. So it was more convenient. So I got a cappuccino and a bagel with, or some sandwich with eggs and cheese and some ham. They put uh, chocolate over it. I really like it when they make it like this. You don't see this everywhere. If you go to Starbucks, you will get just a plain cappuccino without the chocolate on it. So I was drinking my coffee until this. And then I look above and there were some pigeons. Where did it go? There. I'm really afraid that they will shit over me. Look at that. So I will move from here. The last thing I need is to be shit by a pigeon. I'm noticing that coffee here is way softer than in Europe. Even a bit watery. I think I'm going to throw it away and walk for a bit. I'm getting bored. So yeah. So I have gate 17 and still three hours to go. Oh, and by the way, today is Sunday 4 of February. Just to give you some context. It looks like it's a busy day today. I know that maybe you don't notice it, but in comparison with other times that I have flu, this looks like the most busy one. Oh, and by the way, if you want to take Alfa Jores as a souvenir or as a present, don't buy them there, buy them here. They are way cheaper. They have more local prices. Those are more tourist prices. I think the last time I departed was from here and in the evening. This must be one of the first times that I fly at noon. So it will take me 11 minutes to get to my gate. I think I'm going to stay here for a while. It's empty, there's no one around, so I can just chill and relax. Of course, I can chill and relax anywhere, but I like places where there's less people. And I have some nice uh, coaches here and a charging station, so this is good. I have uh, preloaded my tablet with The Good Place. Some friends told me that this is a really good uh, TV show, so I plan to watch it during the flight. I watch only the first episode, I think it's called The Pilot, and I have downloaded a lot of episodes. I have season one and season two, so that should be enough for the whole flight. 
well actually not the whole flight it's about eight hours and i also have this movie les miserables i haven't watched this one although it's really famous i might get something else i like some i like comedy so maybe i get the animal or step brothers those two are really funny i have watched them a lot of times so yeah let's see if their board has good wi-fi Well, looks fast enough to me. So, I'll need to pull all my plugs to plug it in. Thank you for being so international. People are so fucking dirty. Fucking stay there. Terrible quality. So I hate flying, so I have some stuff here to help me out. This is some herbs tea, which has uh, valerian and other things. And I have some sleeping pills, also made of natural ingredients, mostly herbs, so no chemicals or anything like that. And this should also help. Yeah, another one and then there's a lot of crap in it in case you're wondering i think in most flights uh, they will give you hot water so you can bring your own tea and make your own tea the one you like and yeah even if it's a low cost when where they don't serve coffee or tea for free i think you can even ask uh, for uh, for the hot water i will find out today No people around. Here you have some serious engineering. I put my water bottle, my pillow for the airplane, and now there's no more gap. And it's charging, so good. Been there, done that. I think I'll pack everything and go for a walk. I got bored and I have nothing left to watch for now. Let's see if everything is okay. Yeah, still on time. I was trying to buy some in-flight food, but it was already not possible. I think you need to do it like 24 hours before departure. Since it's a low cost, you have to pay separately for all extra services like luggage, seat, meals. And you have to do that one day before. So yeah, I will need to buy a sandwich or something. If not, it will be 12 hours without any meal. So I'm just curious about how much Coca-Cola is here. I think it's just mil pesos, which equals about one dollar, one euro. So it's not that expensive. My guess is still not open, but it's getting really crowded. The whole airport is getting crowded. And I still need to get something to eat. So buying a meal by level was about uh, 30 euros. And I think I can get something here, maybe two sandwiches for about six. So that's a good deal, I guess. I saw a place before that I think it was way cheaper than other stores. I like that more and more airports are adding those water bottle fillers. I always carry my water bottle so it helps the environment and my pocket. I would probably spend almost one euro or one dollar for each bottle of water that I buy. So yeah, being able to refill the reusable bottle is great. And by the way, I'm trying to find a place where I saw the cheapest sandwiches, but I, I can't find it. I don't remember where I saw it. I think it was before the Burger King, but I'm not sure. I didn't see it. Or maybe it was after the Burger King. Okay, so this is the quiet area where I was before. So I think it was after this. I might need to go back. 
yeah i think it was after the Burger King. okay so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to buy two sandwiches i'm going to fill this water bottle and i'm going to buy another one and with that i should have enough for the whole flight i think that's going to work and i shouldn't spend more than 12 dollars so it's going to be less than half the price okay time to get the sandwiches i think now i remember where i saw the place there was like a sports bar and there was a small stand yeah right there so let's see i thought someone would come but i think it's self-service of course they use the official currencies so tourist is 1.1 1 .1. chocolate so two sandwiches and a bottle of water was six euros and fifty cents i saved 24 euros although um, level offers you three meals on the flight uh, dinner breakfast and a small snack all right let's go to the gate bye argentina until next time So I finally made it to Barcelona. It's 5 a.m. So it's about 1 a.m. in Argentina. And I need to go to the another terminal to get the Transavia flight that's going to depart in about five hours. I'm so tired. I need to get the bus to go to terminal two. So first I need to get sick. Okay, so I'm looking for the shuttle. Should be this way somewhere. I guess this way. Let's see my flight is there. Okay, so I passed security, now I need to find out where I need to go. And I also need to change because it's going to get really cold. Okay, so Transavia can be R, S, U, so opposite directions. So yeah, I'll have to wait here until they set the final gate. I guess I will look for the toilet and get changed. Oh, and by the way, it's not that cold. I have shorts and a light uh, sweatshirt and it's okay. I was outside to take the bus and it was perfectly fine. But in the Netherlands, it's going to get way colder. So I feel much better now. I wash my face, I change my clothes, t-shirt, jeans. I think I'm going to chill for a bit. I really hate that they put these things because you cannot lay down. It's really annoying. I'm going to try to find a place where I can lay down for a bit. It's 8 degrees at the moment. It's funny that I went from 39 degrees to only 8. It's 7.30 a.m. and the sun is rising. Almost time to war. I have 
20 minutes to catch the train. Let's see if I can make it. It's really busy today. I think I will make it. So there are a lot of train cancellations. I think it's because they are still working on their tracks. Okay, so it seems that today was a really bad day to arrive to the Netherlands. There was lack of rolling stock. There was some accident, some collision with a car or a person. And there's maintenance on the tracks. Uh, so I took a train from Schiphol to the Haag Central. And now I'm going to take a train from the Haag Central to uh, Rotterdam Central.